It is the last Monday of March, and we're here inside the Your TV studio with Leanne Noel of Century 21. Leanne, always a pleasure having you at our studio to talk very important topics when it <laughs> concerning real estate. Yes. And today is no different. Correct. Yes, always love being here. Thank you, Clark. My pleasure. We're talking about trends for 2023. Mm -hmm. A quick Google image search telling me what's trendy right now. <laughs> uh, clean Dreams kitchen sponge holder. That's interesting. Excellent. A duck floating tea infuser. But we're here not talking about like accessories. <laughs> we're talking about all to do with real estate. Doesn't that all tie in though? Come it does. on, of course. Absolutely. <laughs> Let's start with. Um, where people get their rest in the bedroom. Yes. What's trendy right now to have a functional but also attractive bedroom? Absolutely. So one particular trend in the bedroom is these dark millwork accent walls. And I just want to remind our viewers what millwork is. This is uh, shelving, mantles, interior trim. And what this does is really bring a focal point to the room. So you think your headboard and then this beautiful moody dark accent wall that features that millwork again that focal point and it can create that really dramatic style. How important would lighting be to show that off? Absolute lighting is always very important in the home no matter the room uh, so definitely consider that natural light that's coming in and then the artificial lighting and where that should be placed. When people look at a house they ask how many beds how many baths yeah. so we're going to transition to right. bathrooms and flooring why is that the specific focus? So one popular feature we're seeing right now is this curbless shower with continuous flooring. So typically what we would see is where the shower is located would be some tile flooring that's perhaps a different material from the remainder of the flooring of the bathroom. And now we're really seeing that designers are bringing this continuous flooring through and obviously it's non-slip flooring. And with this approach we definitely see this sleek streamless line effect um, that ultimately makes a room look bigger than it is. One of my best friends, Jessery, did his bathroom and he has accessibility concerns exactly. and that fits perfectly into that. Absolutely, yes. Laundry, um, yes. get their clothes clean for the next day of work. What's trendy right now with laundry? So let's talk about cabinets. Uh, again, with that moody, rich, deep color, that's an ongoing trend in kitchens, which we will get to next segment. I'm very excited. But this is also showing up in the laundry room. So think a dramatic cabinet color with maybe a really cool accent wallpaper, you know, wall that is featured there, and then also your paint choice. This is really interesting too though, is this mesh cabinet fronts. Okay. Think about how when you have delicates and you're air drying them, these cabinets allow you to tuck that away. So again, they're not on display and doesn't create that visual clutter. Interesting. Yes. Uh, home office, working from home isn't a trend, it's the new reality. It really is. So how can you kind of freshen that up to make it more exciting uh, for the nine to five grind? Oh, that <laughs> exactly. We want to think built-ins. Again, this is a feature that we see definitely in living rooms, kitchens, but it's very important when it comes to storage and organization in a home office. So think of, again, around the desk, maybe some really nice book shelving. Um, and again, of course, it's to d tackle that display and, and storage space. A pitfall or downfall to being trendy is that it's a certain length of time Correct, trends yes. come and go. Yeah. Always think function when you're just deciding with your contractor, with your builder, you know, those classic trends, how that's going to be a, a great function in the home so that when new homeowners are potentially looking at your home when it's for sale, that they're really excited about that and now they can visualize their belongings in that home. I mean, your home can be such a relaxing, zen place when obviously there's a dedicated spot for the daily clutter that's out of sight. So with your trends, keep that in mind. You want to have designated spaces that uh, can take away that visual clutter. And a follow-up before we sign off for another Realty Insight. Yes. How long, in your experience, is a trend? Give well, or say. I'm going to say anywhere between five to ten years, okay. depending, right? It, it all depends. Yes, trends come and go and they're recycled, but always remember that they always come back in style. And I want to remind our viewers that your home is really an extension of your personal style. So be sure that you save some room for self-expression in your decor and design ch you know, choices. And I really want you to reflect on your authenticity and your personality when making those choices when it comes to you and your family. Something that's always in style, Leanne Noel from Century 21. <laughs> thank you for so. coming in. Thank you, Clark. My pleasure. <laughs>